where we left off. That's a good question that I don't think was actually asked, but we're gonna figure it out. See if we can figure out from the emails. Hey, we're gonna go find Yada. That sounds like a plan. He sends an email saying urgent. That's all I need to know. Yada's calling me. I should head to Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark by myself. Oh, okay. So, this is what I actually... What, um... I had referenced at the end of the last stream, that there was something about the original Dot Hack series that was kind of extended into this one, and I think this is where we're going to find out about them. Yada. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yada, what did you mean by what you said in that email? Hmm. 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 Look below you. Yada, what is that? I've found several areas in the world exhibiting the same phenomenon. Furthermore, this is something completely different from the Ida phenomenon. It's not Ida? Then what is it? I believe it is an anti-existence. Anti-existence? Do you remember Fidel's prophecy, Aseo? Prophecy? If this is the giant shadow, then this is the anti-existence of rebirth. Anti-existence? It is the shadow of the Morgana factor. In other words, of we epitaph users. Use of a power that was not meant to exist created anomalies in the data. And the light of the rebirth created this as its shadow. Yes. Its name is... Kubia. Bam. Kubia. <laughs> Yes, Kubia. The bitter legacy left to us by Ovan. If the effects resulting from the rebirth were spread throughout the entire network, then Kubia will also spread, not just throughout the world, but the entire network as well. The true destruction is now beginning. The true apocalypse. Wait a minute, what about al -Qaid? And Shino? 
Their consciousnesses are probably still in the world. I will take responsibility for what I've done in the past. Once, seven years ago, when the world and the real world were in danger, I was indeed on the battlefield. I mentioned before that Yada is actually one of the characters from the original game. I don't know if he reveals it here, but he's at least leading on about it. He is one of the ones in this picture. Try and guess which one. Seven years ago. You mean the second network crisis? The anti-existence Kubia was present then as well. You mean this monster's shown up before? Ovan eliminated Ida at the cost of his life. Feared the lost ones and protected the world. Now, let me protect it with my life as well. Surely that would fulfill his dying wish. Looks like you're finally saying what you mean. I will not allow the world to be destroyed. <clears throat> Cade and Shino's consciousnesses are still wandering in the world. They won't be destroyed. I'll protect them with my life. Wise Man was the one that wasn't Mistral, it wasn't Belmung, it wasn't Kite or Black Rose. And it wasn't the the guy. What the hell is his name? Leo? The dude that was like the save shop guy. No, I know. But you gotta know their names, come on. Now there's a background for you. It's a nice random background. Hey, it's the end of the Sakubo thing. Was was that flower meant? Oh, was that what that flower meant? I I didn't know any of that. So thanks, thanks for telling me. I guess I had it wrong somehow. I thought Bo would find it would be fine on his own, but you're right. It's not. Oh, it's not. God, I can't talk today. Something, something, something. She's not Looks quitting. Like he got through to her. Saku, Bo, I'm happy for you both. CC Corpse Management have sent Scubia's presence and have fallen into turmoil. Seven years ago, the Pluto again incident, when the second network crisis began again, Kubia was there as well. I believe the true finale, the true third network crisis, will begin when Kubia becomes active. Shino and Alcade's consciousnesses are still wandering lost in the world. We've got to put a stop to this network crisis right away. I'm waiting for you in front of the Beast Temple at insert area here. You know who I am, don't you? Ina? Ovan's little sister? So she's woken up. That's good. She's at Sigma Incensed World's Buildup. Oh hey, it probably doesn't help it with downloading some random PlayStation game.
I don't know what a Magna Carta is. Let's go to Sigma Incensed World's Buildup to meet Ovan's little sister, Aina. Yeah, I guess they look similar. Oh, area words, yes. Um, bring allies? Yeah, we'll bring allies, why not? Don't know if I'll need them. Hey look, Yada's busy, go figure. We're taking Zelkova. So, aside from Aseo, Zelkova is actually the only person in this game that you get as a teammate that can use a scythe. Which makes him very unique. But now we get to do gunfighting, which is really fun. That's why they're dying so quick. Apparently, that wonderful weapon I always talk about that I got from the original game that occasionally will half the target's HP, Zelkova's weapon does that. That's awesome. No, I don't want to change my weapon. So basically, you know that one, the broadsword weapon I use all the time, and it's really cheap? Well, if you look at Zelkova when he's attacking, he deals really high numbers. He also has that ability on his weapon, so he can have the target's HP as long as they're not too far apart in levels. And since, as of right now, he's six levels higher than me, I don't think he's going to be outside of level range. <laughs>
I think the thing that makes the gun so great is that you can move while you're attacking. So you can literally just kite people around and just they'll never reach you. It's fantastic. And with the ability to hit flying enemies, which I haven't shown yet, but it is so great. I really like what Zalkova's weapon looks like too. Pretty cool. There's no way that teleport is going to send me back, would it? Oh, thank god. Now we get flying enemies, even better. I'm actually gonna use this real quick though. So I think one of the things I might do after I'm done with the playthrough on this is as like a side thing, just like a way to fill in extra time and all that, I might work on finishing up the trophies for this in the PlayStation Network because there's not too many left that I still need and they're easy, they're just really tedious to do so I haven't done them yet. I think one of them is like 200 arena battles and all these other ones that's really easy. It's just trying to find time to not be bored as hell doing them.
that and finishing up the Ryu books. Damn, this is bad. But I did finish up Diablo 3 as far as their trophy goes for the basic game anyway. Not the not the necromancer ones. So that one is all set. Bring it on. So, another thing about the, the guns that Haseo uses is the broadsword, when, when using it, has a really cheap mechanic to it where the normal... Okay, I got a firm chins anyway. The normal way of using it is that you would attack with a wide swing and then you would do like a slam on the ground or a repeated attack with like a chain blade on there and an easy way to avoid and do a lot of damage is to just hit the first swing guard and just keep spamming that back and forth and I did that for a while too but with the gun you see the bullets that sit there above the health bars of your party and for this particular one I have it only has eight bullets and it fires two at a time so when you finish using the uh, bullets it'll do an automatic reload but it actually takes a lot longer than than you would want it to. But if you hit guard, it'll re reload your bullets almost instantly, allowing you to fire a lot quicker. So it's just another way that if you work guard into your into your rotation for your attacking, it actually makes it so much more efficient for damage. And that should at least be enough for now. I'm not gonna go up to 100. Hey, we're done anyway. <laughs> You're Haseo, aren't you? And you? I'm Ina. I guess you finally woke up. I was asleep for quite a long time. How do you know who I am? I thought you were unconscious when Ovan and I first met each other. I was unconscious in the real world, but I have memories of the world. They are my brother's memories. Ovan's? My sleeping consciousness would sometimes connect with the Ida in my brother's left arm. I saw faint visions of what was happening in the world. It was almost as if I were dreaming. Because you'd become one with Ida? Yes. And so that's why I was with my brother. Always with him. Well, that's good. Ovan's greatest hope was to bring you back to consciousness. I'm sure he'd be... Good? Huh? What's good about this? My brother, my brother, is comatose, wavering between life and death. I see. Since he was at ground zero of the rebirth, I'm sure that Ovan suffered much deeper damage than the rest of us. So he's in a coma. Haseo, I was wondering... Do you remember when you first met my brother? <sighs> my brother saved you, remember? He guided you and helped you! So I don't understand! Why didn't you save him?
I... I... I, I, Captain. What the... What the hell was that tremor? Kubia disaster has begun. Meet at Raven's at home. Because of Kubia's presence? Let's go to Raven's at home. I mean, they gotta work Raven's at home into the game, otherwise he'll never go back to Makanu. It's the only reason the city still exists. Cutscene. Kubia has become active, fragmented, and has begun corroding various areas. This is a huge burden, not just for the world system, but for the entire network. The net? I think we can presume this is Kubia's influence. There is already a significant impact on the infrastructure. At this rate, it's likely to cause a lot of damage. So in other words... Humanity is teetering on the verge of the third network crisis. Oh, Hazel! Bo, what's wrong? It's Ina. Some terrible monster I've never seen before is after Ina. A monster you've never seen before? No doubt Kubia is involved in this. I want to save her. Please, help me out, Hazel. Kubia is the shadow of Epitaph users. It would be dangerous. Then again, Oban sacrificed himself to save that tiny life. We cannot let it be lost. Bye. Yes. I'm searching for her now. I found her. Ina's current position is Sigma fleeing dismayed emotion. I want to go too. Please take me with you, Haseo. All right. Come on. We've got to hurry. Let's invite Bo and head to Sigma Fleeing Dismayed Emotion. We've got to save Ina. She's Ovon's little sister. You ever wonder if they really plan some of these area words names out? Zelkova in here, though. Definitely will take Bo over Adelie anyway. I want to save her. Please, help me out, Asail. Yeah, I got it. Let's hurry. Holy... Jeez, what the hell is she doing here? She really chooses good maps, huh? Go all the way across, okay. Love to keep Zoko on the team forever. I actually can't though, because I'm eventually gonna hit a point where they won't let me take non-avatar using players. Do you 
The same reason we lost Pyros forever ago. I mean, I could bring Pyrrhus again, but at this point, Selkova just wins. Pyrrhus is phony, but Selkova's cool, and he's got the damage to back it up. Another random fun fact about the gun is you'll notice in the corner, in the upper left corner, that combo just never drops. You can just chain things forever. And while with like medium and large enemies it doesn't really do much, light enemies means you can just keep them in the air forever. As an added bonus to that, there's multiple ways to charge your morale gauge, and one of them is through combos. So if they have a certain affection level, then upon hitting a certain combo number, you'll see like a golden chat box in the bottom, like Sakubo right there, and that helps fill the morale gauge quicker when they hit a certain number. So I can just drop the combo just really quickly rebuild it up and I can keep getting that same thing over and over for really quick charges where with the broadsword and that you really couldn't do it you possibly could do it with the twin blades but not as easily I got a weird feeling I wasn't supposed to go in here. Whoops. Should have guessed Ino wasn't good enough to make it into the Beast Temple. Probably just running around on this last platform where there's no reason you would ever need to be. Yep, I figure. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's save Aina. Bring it on! Wait for it. I know. It's dangerous here. Let's head back. Yeah, come with us, Ina. Save my brother. 
And not just that. You wiped out Ida. And kept the last link between my brother and me. <sighs> if I could have chosen, I would have preferred to stay linked together with my brother through Ida. I would have been happier that way. Happier than now. All I am now is miserable. I was way happier when I was lying there unconscious. No, Ina, don't. You... You can't throw all your painful feelings at somebody just because it hurts. <laughs> Haseo is a nice person. And he has a good heart. So... So you, you just can't take advantage of his kindness like that. You shouldn't try to hurt yourself by hurting somebody else. Aina. Ovan wanted to save you. And you... You've got to believe in what he did. Who'll believe in him if not you? Ovan. Desperately wanted you to live. Well, alrighty then. We've got Ina. Let's head back to the Serpent of Lore for now. Sakobo is with her. I think she finally understands that blaming you won't bring Ovan back. But man, does it feel good. Let's just leave her alone for a while. Aseo, that monster you fought was one of Kubia's hunting dogs, a Gomorrah. Wait, you mean that wasn't the real thing? Indeed. Furthermore, Kubia is capable of producing endless numbers of Gomorra. Whoa, that means... There can be little point in attacking a single Gomorra. Our one chance may be to eliminate Kubia's main body, however... Kubia is the anti-existence of epitaphs. Fighting each other would only result in our powers canceling each other out. Now that we've lost the epitaph of Rebirth, we would be destroyed if we tried to fight it head-on. Oh no! So what can we do? If we could converse with God... God? Have you not heard? There was once a goddess watching over the world. A goddess? The goddess was the world's strings, the system itself. The ultimate AI that once ruled over the world. 
Aura. Aura. That's what they say she was called. Aura. A goddess. A deity that exists in the world. Uh. If she was the system of the world itself, then perhaps... But how are we gonna talk with this aura? It's a path not even Ovon was able to walk. It will no doubt be difficult. Hulgron's Cathedral. Let's go to Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Very well. I shall accompany you. I'm coming too. Aina. I have something that my brother gave me. Ooh, she got a brother secret. Let's invite Yada and head to Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. We might be able to find out something about Aura. Man, no one likes you, Yada. We're like Pyros. Pyros and Yada. There we go. Now that's the team right there. So Yada is actually another interesting character that you get at this point in the game. So this is the third game of the of the original series, I guess. And the thing about Yada is you've never you've faced characters with his class, but you've never actually been able to play any of them. So he's a was it macabre dancer or something like that. So he attacks with fans. And it's just, it's, it's interesting. Looks like Kubia isn't here yet. It appears it's being protected by a holy power. You sound like you really believe in this god, Yada. <sighs> Here's the cathedral. Let's go. Golden Pyros walking forward. Love it. I got a... Yeah. Macabre Dancer. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but we're gonna go with that for now. His weapon of choice, Fan. Actually, he should have his lost weapon equipped too, right? No, he doesn't have his lost weapon equipped. Now he does. We don't know what'll Whoa 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 what? We don't know what'll happen. We should make sure we're completely prepared. Is this actually gonna be a fight? Let's do it. I am not ready at all for a fight, but we're gonna do it. In order to search for the ultimate AI, Aura, Ovan formed the Twilight Brigade and invited you into it. The Twilight Brigade's objective was to locate the key of Twilight. The sign that they'd arrived at truth. I believe that Ovan may have originally sought to borrow Aura's power in order to exterminate Ida. The eight epitaphs represented the truth to Ovan. Signs showing him the way to meet Aura. Ovan leave with you anyway. This. Wait, wasn't that in the creator's room? That white place? <laughs> My brother? 
He read books to me all the time. Lots and lots of books from that secret room. And my favorite one, the one he read to me the most, was the Epitaph of Twilight. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, now some kind of possessed stuff going on here. <laughs> could, could this be? A cutscene? Yes. Yet to return, the Shadowed One, who quests for the Twilight Dragon, rumbles the Dark Hearth. And Helva, Queen of the Dark, has finally raised her army. Aperon, King of Light, beckons at the base of the rainbow to the end. Against the abominable ways, together, they fight. What is this? What's going on? Could this be the original text of the Epitaph of Twilight? Uh. It's... it's reacting to my epitaph. It can't be. Yes, of course. The key of twilight is the sign of the truth. You mean if we bring all eight Epitaph user PCs here? Most likely. But Yada, Ovan's gone. Remember, Haseo. Remember Ovan's words. Ovan's words? Defeat me this time once and for all. Come, Haseo. Use your avatar. The one that devoured seven of the eight. Defeat me with your fully developed avatar, your Grim Reaper. They're all... in me? That's right, Haseo. You and your terror of death fought our avatars and devoured them. As a result, you carry the powers of all eight. The key is within you. So that means I'm... Aseo, you are what Ovan was searching for. It's you, Aseo. The key of twilight is you. Oh. Aura. <laughs> Awaken the goddess that left this world. Yeah, but only his eyes turned yellow, not his hair.
What did he do to her? Shit. There's a naked guy These over there. Guys. Here they come. <laughs> Here goes. Remember that whole story about not being prepared? Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh balls. Next time we're skipping that cutscene because I'm gonna die during this. Flash did not bring healer. <laughs> you gotta do something useful, damn it. Who the hell just did the hundreds? Was that Yada? Did he just do some serious damage? Okay, okay. Need a healer. Um, self healing. Okay, ow, ow. I don't like this immortality crap. Hey, out I can heal. Here goes. Let's try. Yada's a healer. I don't actually know the skills because I never use him ever. Oh, he's a status guy, but he can revive. Okay, well this one, we're going to have to try and cheese this a bit. Ow. Okay, so Pyrrhus is fun and all, but I haven't used him in such a long time. Holy balls. Um... is getting really friggin' annoying right now. Hey Yada, you know you can revive, right? I wonder if killing off Orca and Belmong is a good idea. They would stop doing that immortality crap anyway. 
Hey, I gotta revive him. I guess I should heal with magic then. Get it, don't revive them. Okay, okay, just run from the spell circles. Just run from the spell circles, I can do this. Oh, I ran into the spell circle. It really blends into the ground, and that makes this really difficult. Please target Orca and kill him already. Okay, well this is not working too well. Fully recover all allies. I have one for... Keep running, keep running. Oh, sh shoot. Can he revive me or is he just gonna. Hey, yada. Hey, yada. 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 Yada, you almost got me there. Almost. Yada, you suck. I don't remember how far back. I don't want to redo all that. I should have took this more seriously when I picked my team. We should have brought Salkova. Okay, okay, screen. What the hell is that? Not even who I want to target. We're just gonna have to spam skills though. I love the if, because there's totally a chance I can actually do this, right?
Can I please move? Actually, did I ever change shit? Because I went and restarted, that's why. Um... Oh, I have a skill card. Skill gauge. Um. Yes, I should heal everyone. I feel so dirty having to fight this way. I also don't like that they can move before my skill though. Oh, that's not good. At least it didn't actually do a lot of damage. That's good. Yada, get away. Okay, Yada needs magic. Yada, don't stand next to me, you dumbass. Heels. Come on, Yada. I can almost cheese the last of us. I might have to soon. Not who I was going after. God, I hope I survive this. Hey, I live. So... Full heal.
Hey, Pyrrhus got the final hit. Can't these guys die? No. Stop at one. That awkward pause. Well, I guess we're going to have a short intermission. While we wait for for our viewer, so
Okay. Back to this. What the? They obeyed. Yes, of course. They're Aura's knights. Are these the pursuers Ovon mentioned? Are they the guardians of the system? Then that means they were after anomalies in the system of the world. They were after Ida and Ovon. I, I beg your pardon, but are you... Kubia is the shadow of you Epitaph users. So you know everything already. You've used Ina's PC as a vessel. Aura, were you the one who brought about Fidel's prophecy? If so, then tell us. Tell us how to save the world from Kubia. <sighs> Great goals are always fulfilled through personal sacrifice. Personal sacrifice? You mean Ovon, or...? Do you mean we should abandon our Epitaph user PCs? I get it. If Kubia is the anti-existence of Epitaphs... The man who used the Epitaph of Rebirth has already been lost. Even if the remaining seven epitaphs were sent back into the world... It wouldn't work? I am the one who remains asleep. I have no power to decide the future of this world. The future of this world will be decided by you players of the game. By people. The future of the world lies at the ends of human will. I smell member addresses. Oh, it's just a What's weapon. This? I guess I don't get their addresses till later. I am Aura. I am the Twilight Goddess that brought about this world's dawn. Yet once again, the Twilight of the Gods has come. You who seek light in the Twilight, you who are like me. The little children of Morgana. May you find happiness. Ina. Aura. She's gone back into the world, into the vast sea of data. We can't stay here much longer. Head back to the Serpent of Lore. Kubia's consumption is faster than I'd predicted. Most of the players have begun logging out, having sensed something unusual is going on. At this rate, countless towns will cease to function. I see. If we have business in a town, it may be best to take care of it now. 
Let's head back to the Serpent of Lore when our preparations are complete. We've got to take care of our errands in town right now. Let's head to Raven's at home when we're done preparing. I mean, it looks like a nice weapon. Not that I'll ever use it. Another weapon that halves the target's HP. Realistically, I'm not going to actually use it. I'd probably just give it to a different character that also uses the Twin Blades. Well, broadsword or guns. But I really don't have anyone else that uses dual blades on my on my roster. It seems Kubia is consuming all of the servers. Unfortunately, there's no safe place left in the world. Master Yada, your orders. We will take shelter in the outer regions. Let us prioritize the safety of Epitaph users. Outer regions? A place that is and at the same time isn't the world. The net slum! We'll have to move directly to the net slum from here. We've already sent Kuhn and the others ahead. The general PCs who are still logged in have also gone to the Netslum. This place won't hold much longer. Let's begin. Commencing transfer. to abandon GU's base of operation. No. The lore. You can't leave the lore. Huh. So that was Aura. The world's ultimate AI. I never thought that I'd ever get to meet a deity. Yet we did. In spite of that, Aura had no intention of coming to the worlds or the network's salvation. Perhaps that's because Aura is now a system without a voice. You mean like a natural system? Perhaps just an aloof system. Aura flows along with the world. She is as the world is. Calling her a goddess and worshipping her image is simply the way humans chose to see her. Maybe that's the reason why Aura decided to leave the cathedral's altar. Do you mean there's no longer a way to exterminate Kubia? Let's try to think of other strategies. Due to server difficulties caused by Kubia, town transfer is unavailable. However, by using the net slum chaos gate, you may by bypass towns and transfer directly to areas on other servers. Furthermore, please be aware that server difficulties have revoked all quest inquiries you have accepted. No, not my quests. Anything but that. Dear Haseo, thank you for regular patronage in the world. Currently, there have been network issues in the world due to server issues. We are currently undergoing emergency maintenance to resolve this issue. Due to this maintenance, all quest data from the time of the case and now will be in 
initialized. Please challenge these quests as after. Yeah. Don't do quests. That's all it says. <laughs> we'll see what what trading cards we got going right now. Crimson versus. Hey, look at all those free cards. Hey, more cards. Okay, that was fun. We should play that game more often. I guess there's nothing. I thought maybe it was like a forced one. Well, yes, we should go find the Yada on the bridge. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Gaspard's not here. I was gonna say it's got the shop acorn symbol. Is this the Serpent of Lore? I've moved the bare minimum of the Serpent of Lore's systems here to the net slum. Look at this! Zolkova. You can use the Serpent of Lore? Zolkova's skills are equal to mine and yours, Pai. Kubia has already reproduced and overtaken the world. And that's not all. Kubia's influence is causing an excessive strain on the entire network. Necrosis is occurring in areas of lower tolerance. At this rate, the network will lose function, and eventually shut completely down. Yeah, but this is the year 2017! If the network dies, Whoa, what? people's lives, cities, even countries won't be able to function! Now... What's this? All of the nuclear power facilities throughout the world. At present, operations at all of them have become abnormal. What? They are currently trying all methods to regain control of the systems. However, at this point, no effective means have been found. If this continues, there will be meltdowns. Oh no! Uh, meltdowns? <laughs> all over the world? You may not wish to believe it, but yes. Doesn't that mean the whole human race is in danger? Yes. Then this truly is the third network crisis. Humanity has taken its first step into it. All of this is because of Kubia. Zokova. Can you locate Kubia's main body? I am presently searching for it. However, it will still require a little more time. The real problem is all the Gomorrahs. Even if it's completely pointless to attack them, if we were to leave their multiplication unchecked, then... then humanity itself could face unimaginable peril. Let's fight them. You want us to take that mess on, one at a time? Is there any other way? Until we find where Kubia's main body is, we've got to defeat the Kubia Gamoras. Shino. And Alcade. And the other lost ones. All of them are still here. We're the only ones that can save them. And still, we haven't done a thing. 
We haven't fought against the anti-existence? We haven't fought Kuvia? As long as there's something I can do, I can't just sit here and do nothing! So come on, everybody, let's fight! In order to do everything we can do right now. Hmm. Yes, a sale's right. Well then, I'll ask the general players to give us some backup. So that we can defeat the Kubia Gamoras that have spread throughout the world. Well, we are short on manpower. Do you suppose they'll do? Besides, most of the players logged out when they started to see that something was wrong. Let's try it! Even if we can only get one person to help us, that'll still be better than not doing anything at all! Come on, everyone. Let's do everything we can! Don't you agree, Hazel? Yeah, let's do it. I'll make the arrangements. I believe this is going to take some time. So please, look around the net slum in the meantime. Look around. It's gonna take a while to get the general players together. Maybe we should look around the net slum and prepare for the fight with Kubia. Canard and the Serpent of Lore have been moved to the net slum. You may enter at home from the door facing the plaza. Additionally, moving to the net slum has made it possible to perform cheat alchemy. Ooh. Oh, here we go. You guys, you're okay. Haseo! Haseo! Hey, that terrible monster is causing the world to... I don't know what all of this is, but things are getting pretty bad right now, aren't they? The world's in danger right now. You guys stay here. Right, got it. Hey, I'm gonna open a guild shop here. Hope you use it anytime you want. Haseo! Oh. Saku. So, uh, you're back. And, uh... Stupid! Huh? Maybe you thought you won me over with that stupid email, but you so did not! I'm only adventuring with you again because they're so hopeless. Just consider yourself an extra to Master N and Bo. You got that? Man, what was all that about? Well, she seems happy, so... whatever. Zelkova said he'd ask the general players to be reinforcements for us. Maybe I should log out and check my email or something. Can't kill Gaspar, he's part of the final fight. Hello to all the players of the world, I am Selkopa, Guild Master of Moontree. You may be surprised to receive this mail, but this is regards to something very important, so please read it through to the end. I am sure you are all aware of the abnormal phenomena occurring in the world at present. If we leave this phenomena alone, the world that you all love so much will be destroyed. Please, everyone. Please lend us your strength so that we can save the world. CC Corp's volunteer supporters have told us that by defeating bugged monsters called Kubia Gamora, we can cause the situation to quiet for the moment. Kestrel and Moontree have heard this and are already exterminating the Kubia Gamora. Haseo and his teammates who swept all three ranks in the arena are also lending their support. Please fight with us, everyone. Help us return the world to its proper state. Finally. Let me present a message from Aseo who has taken the initiative in supporting us. Dot 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 dot, let's fight. We haven't even done anything yet. If there's anything I can do, I must do it. So let's fight for this. But let's fight this. Yeah. I get it. Zelkova can do stuff like this. 
dear big brother Haseo. Saku just said she decided not to vanish anymore. Did you talk to her for me? Thanks. I like you a whole bunch. They share an email account. This is really stupid that she didn't he didn't know. They didn't know. I called on the general players for support and a whole lot of them showed up for us. Right now, those volunteers are stopping the Kubia Gamora infestation in various areas. Now then, Haseo, we mustn't let this chance go to waste. Let's take out the Kubia now. We're going to have another meeting to plan our strategy soon, so hurry to the bridge in the net slum, okay? So people came to help us out, huh? Thanks, everyone. At long last, this is the final battle. But it isn't anything like when I went after Triage all by myself. Now, Kate, Shino, and Ovan, I've got friends to fight alongside me. All right, everyone's waiting. Let's head to the Net Slum Bridge. To the bridge. They're having a strategy meeting on the Net Slum Bridge. We've sent emails to players requesting reinforcements. All we can do now is to try and believe in them. Did you find out where Kubia's main body is? Kubia's main body is producing Gamoras as it moves around unchecked through the world. But we haven't been able to find its location yet. Do it quickly, Zelkova. We don't have much time left. I'll head into the areas to battle the Gamoras. If I can somehow help the world last even a tiny bit longer by doing so. Even if this is an endlessly spawning enemy, even if this is a hopeless fight, I'll be fine. As long as I'm with you, Haseo. And even if I were not with you, I'd be fine as long as our hearts were in the same place. Haseo, I'm gonna fight too. You know why? Because I really like you. I'm not scared, really. Thanks a lot, Bo. And you too, Endrance. I've announced the areas where Gamora infestation has reached dangerous levels. They're lost grounds. Delta, hidden, forbidden, radiation. Delta, hidden, forbidden, bulwark. Beta, hidden, forbidden, dragon bane. Beta, hidden, forbidden, battlefield. After performing area hacking on the above areas, begin exterminating the Kubia Gamoras in the outer dungeons. So we're declaring war. We've got to use area hacking at the four lost grounds. We should save our data before we go. Once you're prepared, use the Chaos Gate to transport there. After we finish area hacking at the designated lost grounds, let's start exterminating the Gamoras and we'll keep defeating the Kubia Gamoras until they find the location of Kubia's main body. No. No. I can only use epitaph users. I knew this would happen. Well, Dr. Boson. Oh, God. I mean, I. Yes, he gotta, because he's the highest level, so by default he's stronger. That sucks. Actually, before we do that, we could actually start buffing some people. Let's, let's make Sakubo a bit stronger. I'm cool with that.
Okay, Sakubo's got the book. That's... No, that's onions. That's six. Five. Okay. Level 135 boss. God damn it. Um. I mean, I want to say I should be able to do it. I'm actually going to save before this one just in case. Exterminating the Goma, keep defeating the Just because I don't want to get stuck in this one and then have to redo all these cutscenes if I can't beat them. It shouldn't be too bad. 135, but it's just a one enemy fight, so. Switching that back to Beast Awakening later, but I mean, of course, I'm gonna go for the sneak attack because you can't see me, right? Huh? Huh? I'll crush you. Huh? Okay, we gotta go guns. <laughs> oh, this damage. If you're curious, there is a lot of lag during the fight with this, because, for whatever reason, guns and bosses don't mix too well. So it actually lags the attacks for the guns a lot when fighting bosses. But that's the game, it's not so much like the actual... Okay, Yada's dead. Switch back to Beast Awakening. Really bad start to that, though. Sure. 
Even at this point, the Brogs are doing so much damage, the guarding trick really just makes it so overpowered no matter what. Okay. Now she's got an ultimate weapon. Fantastic. And I'm never going to use mine, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, not never, I'll use it occasionally, but... After we finish area hacking at the Let's start extra. Keep defeating the... Out of Gamora. There are Kubia Gamoras here. No way. <laughs> so the world's yes. in danger, eh? You. Nothing to fear. Heroes the Third is here. Hell now, yeah. Where are those pesky monsters? Yes, wherever could they be? Just, just, just where? I, Pyrrhus the Third, shall dispatch them. You read the email? Haseo! Syllabus and Gaspard. Yes, Gaspard's what here. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> we read the email. We've come here to help you beat the monsters. Guys. After all, you're our guildmaster, Haseo. Haseo? I'm pretty much a weakling, so I might not be much use in a time of need, but if you ask me to, Haseo, I'll do what I can. We'll fight too, because we both love the world. Yeah, he's absolutely right. Besides, we got plenty of stuff here we don't want to lose. Thanks. You guys. As long as guys like you are around. Guys like Gaspard. I won't let the world die. Go on ahead, kid. And Terrace. And come back with a smile on your face. Yeah, you bet I will. We'll infiltrate the outer dungeons with area hacking. Eliminate all of the Kubia Gamoras in the area. Gamora's in the area. Oh, jeez, that is a big map.
No, I mean, it's just a teleport. I don't know what that is, but I want it. No, I don't want it, never mind. Wishing won't help you, but you're welcome to try. Here. Here Didn't even see them. Might as well get some more virus scores. You need 50, 25, 75, you need 85. To go from nothing to a full powered weapon. Yeah. I say has already gotten the first two of those, so he only needs 50 more. But I think next, probably go for one of the other support characters. Okay, here goes. Crush you! We've eliminated all the Kubia Gamoras. After we 
we finish area hacking at the designated lost grounds. Let's start extracting. We'll keep defeating the Kubia. Kubia Gamoras. Look at all of them. Damn it. Oh, shit. Gabi? Hey, how's it going? I read your email. It was kind of tough, though, since it was more than three lines! Hey there, long time no see, Haseo. If Bordeaux is in on this, then so am I! Bordeaux? And the rest? I brought these guys along because they were bored. Just leave everything to us. We won't let you down. You haven't forgotten me, have you? Go ahead, Terror of Death. I'll thank you guys when this is all over. Infiltrate the outer dungeons with area. eliminate all of the Kubia Gamoras in the area. Kubia Gamora's in the area. Here I go. Crush you!
downfall. Stop struggling. It's pathetic. I didn't even break a sweat. We've eliminated all the... Start extra, keep defeating. Oh no, there's four of them. Kubia Gamoras. Ah, uh, my bad. They the rest of them just didn't render in yet. shape you ought to know that by now <laughs> whoa hey now what are you doing Woo! <laughs> where were you you idiot what do you mean idiot don't you disappear on me like that again okay Haseo. Take this! Ha! Serious? Taihaku. I've come back from hell, along with Alcade. Haseo, I read your email. I called all the ranking arena members. They all agreed to rise up and fight the monsters. In response to you, Haseo. To me? In other words, the stain your name received in the Sage Palace tournament has been wiped clean. Look, Haseo. Look at all of the players who trusted you and came to help. They all look the same. You are the Arena Emperor. 
You are someone to look up to. Go on, go. Don't you dare lose. I told you, you're a strong man. You monsters! There's no point lecturing monsters before fighting them. Facing the power of the swords of Ecolo. We'll show you why emperors reign supreme. We'll infiltrate the outer dungeons with area hacking. Eliminate all of the Kubia Gamoras in the area. I just say Sirius has some really cool weapons. I want those claws. Look at that cheap weapon this guy's got now, but I have his weapon too. What a chump. God, that map. It's gonna be a guessing game of portals again. Teleports, not portals. Try just weapons, so. just for the hell of it. Might as well get some use out of it. I mean, he did have some nice weapons too. Let's see how this plays. Sword dance!
Oh, bullshit. Thought I was disappeared already. It's my turn to play. Sword dance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that one's done. We've eliminated all one more lost ground. And one more set of people that we haven't met yet. Or that we need to re meet. Who do you think's gonna be in the last group? Let's start exterminating the Gamoras and keep defeating the Kubi. Kubia Gamora's here. Master Haseo. It's Moon Tree. Kaede. And Matsu. We read your email and also received a message from Lord Zelkova. Zelkova? It's do or die. We're leaving the big guy up to you, Haseo. Master Haseo, good luck. We'll infiltrate the outer dungeons with area hacking. Eliminate all of the Kubia Gamoras. Eliminate all of the Kubia Gamoras. Well, looks like there's only six, so that's not too bad. Oh, these maps. They make me sick just looking at them. Um, let's skip this teleport and we'll go for the next one. Just in case there's an enemy on this platform. I can do it too! Good job, Yada. Good job. Just walk right into that. Okay, three teleports. Let's go for the one that's probably wrong. I guess it works. Let's see what's here. Come on, enemies. And nothing. God damn it. I knew it was the wrong one. I still went in it. That's a shame.
Wishing won't help you, but you're welcome to try. One of these is the right one, one's the wrong one. Let's go for this one. That was not the right one. Damn. I'm all the way back up here. Hey, that's the one. No, it's not. Never mind. That was the wrong one I, I picked last time. Man, I am so bad at these. So then this one here. And then I tried going in that one and it was the wrong way. So it's gotta be this one over here. It's gotta, it's just gotta be this one. We found him. All them cubias are gone. Looks like we took out all the cubia gamoras in the indicated areas. Let's head back. See, now we could head back. But... We're just gonna save and we're gonna we're gonna switch over to a different game. So on that note, give me a minute or two while I set this up and listen to some dot hack music.